it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to my live video. I am live on Thursday, February the 23rd. February is zipping by. Uh, before we know it, it will be March. So I have been uh, off on vacation, so I'm excited to be back live with you guys. This is what I would rather do. Um, but a lot of you enjoyed my videos that I had running while I was gone. Um, I am super excited to share with y'all tonight some masculine cards because sometimes those are kind of hard or we think they're hard to make, but they're really not. Because you know what? The guys, they don't care. <laughs> They don't care about the frou-frou and the, and the bling and the ribbon and all of that. So we're going to make three easy cards together tonight. So there we go. I want to say hello to all who have joined me in the chat. Um, I am seeing a real sweet comment from Mary Yates. She wants to know if I remember which buttons to push. Yes, I did. I remembered which buttons to push. Uh, Mary. Um, hello, Donna. Hello, Michelle. Michelle is my friend who is going to help us tonight during the live. Um, Michelle, her name is Michelle Batson. If you happen to have a question or um, you need me to uh, be reminded of something, maybe towards the end of the live, you can type um, the at sign and start typing her name, Michelle Batson, and then make sure she sees your question. Okay. Thank you, Michelle, for being here. You're amazing. Um, let's see who else has joined. Let's see. And then we have Kate Wright. We have Dorothy Aspert, Cindy Fox. And Polly Libby. Hello, hello. I'm seeing a lot of y'all talking about the bad weather from the snowstorm. So what a great night to be inside and watch a YouTube video. There you go. So um, I am super happy. Thank you, Donna. It's good to be home. Um, yeah, I came home from Arizona where it was not very nice weather. It's not the Arizona weather I remember fondly when the six years we lived there. Um, Came home to 88 degrees here in Central Texas. And tomorrow it's going to dip in the 50s. So we're back to normal. Anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around. Um, Margaret says that pink looks nice on me. Thank you. Um, it, was, it was pretty warm here today. So I could pull out some of my uh, lighter weight t-shirts. <laughs> okay. So the two stamp sets, oh, by the way, look at the fun nails that I have going on. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when y'all let me go on vacation. I go and meet some fun ladies who have these fun nails and I was all over it. So I'm trying them out and I can't um, I can't wait to hear what y'all have to say. These are very Western style. So definitely TX Stampin' Worthy Nails. Um, okay, I am going to, yeah, it is a great way to spend a Thursday evening, isn't it, Jeannie? So I'm using a stamp set that's been around for a while, Peaceful Moments. Who has this stamp set? Because if you don't, it I don't know what's going to be retiring this year. So don't quote me. Don't say, well, Sharon said. But this stamp set's been around for a while. So I'm afraid it might be going away uh, when the next catalog comes out. But it could stay. So don't, like I said, don't quote me. But it is a really good one that has um, a variety of greetings that you would use for many occasions. Okay. Um, it's got a good font. It's got a good size. See, I'm seeing you. Okay, Michelle says she does. Debbie does. Um, ooh, you like my nails. They are amazing. Um, they're so fun. I had a fun time with it. Uh, let's see. Beverly has, oh, Beverly has Campology, this one that's peeking around, but hasn't used it in a while. Um, so we're going to play with both of these tonight. When the live is over, y'all, don't be going over there now. The link is below the video, but that blog post is not live for um, these cards, okay? Um, I can't remember. So I had two videos that went live while I was gone. Um, one of them, oh, it was the fun fold. I asked y'all 
if you um, enjoyed the fact that I started cutting cardstock from the beginning and went all the way through. It was unanimous that you guys love that. So we're going to do that tonight. Okay. Dorothy says that my nails remind her of Sedona. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at those colors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was fun. This was fun. Um, why is there a grid on the screen? There's a grid on the screen. There is a grid on the screen. What the heck? Oh, boy. All right. Let's see if we can fix that. I don't see it on this screen, but I see it on that screen. Oh, boy. Hmm. <laughs> Give me just a second. I want to see if there's anything I can do to get that off. Nope. Nope. Layouts. Nope. I don't see anything. Why is there a grid on my screen, y'all? Um, hmm. Okay, let me see here. Nope. Nope. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. No, Cindy, you're not seeing things. It is there, but I don't see it on my uh, camera. So I don't know. I will have to research that. Hopefully it's not too distracting. All right, let's get back to what we're going to be talking about. I don't know, guys. That is really strange. Okay, so on the um, on the handout, you're going to see oh, that is a different color. You're going to see what stamps I used, what cardstock I used, what inks I used. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not too bad. Very light lines on the screen. I don't know what that is. So strange. I'm looking at all my monitors. All right. So what I have done is I've given you the scoring measurements to the cards. Okay. Let me show you the cards. Let me show you all the cards. Okay. So we have this one. Oh, now that grid, I can see it like, ugh, what the heck? Um, uh, Joanne shared and liked my video. Thank you so much. Um, no one got the information on making the cards. No one got this yet. This will be available as a free download on my blog after the live is over at 8 p.m. Central. Okay, so here's one card, and I want you to notice right here, if you can see, I've done some score lines just to give it a little bit of something for the guys. This is a very simple one, and then we have this one. Okay. So we are going to make these cards tonight and <clears throat> I am using basic white thick, basic white regular. Okay. So you can tell the difference between the two. I have some early espresso, garden green, very vanilla and old olive. Okay, so we're just going to start cutting for all of our cards. We're going to do that first. Okay, and the first one I need is the basic white thick. Yeah, oh, you guys like my masculine cards. Hello, Grandma Jane. How are you? Um, I am going to grab my trimmer. Move that out of the way. I need a piece that is five and a half by eight and a half. Now the Stampin' Up! trimmer comes with a scoring blade. So I'm going to move my cutting blade way out. Uh, and then I'm going to wait, you're not seeing Oh, you're not seeing this the grid on your phone. That's good. I'm going to move this over and I'm going to go ahead and score it at four and a quarter. If you don't have a score blade, uh, you don't have the Stampin' Up! trimmer or whatever. You can always take and use a bone folder to give that a good crease. Okay, works. Um, okay, so you guys like my cards. Uh, Angela, uh, Angie, there is a grid on my screen and we don't know why. Yeah, we're going to have to research that. We don't know why. I am looking at all my monitors and I don't know why. All right, so then I need some early espresso. Let me grab that. 
I don't know why I pushed that paper way over there. I'm going to need it. I need a piece of early espresso that is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm telling you to use the scoring blade and score at every quarter of an inch, starting at three quarters of an inch from the bottom. Okay. So again, move the, um, move the cutting blade way out of the way. I'm going to line this up at the three quarters. Whoops. Y'all can't see that. Do, do, do. Three quarters inch. And I'm going to score. Now I'm going to use my uh, bone folder because I want you to really see it on the camera, my score lines. Okay. So I'm really going to give this a hard score. And so, whoops, I need to turn this around. Um, so that was at three and a quarter. And then I'm going to do it at one. I'm going to do it again. Camping is perfect for the guys. Then I'm going to go to one and a quarter. And I want to say, I didn't tell you how many to do. So what this is doing is just giving some texture to this card. You know, when you think of the guys, you know, they need something. But, you know, nothing, nothing frou-frou. We don't want to do frou-frou for the guys. Okay, let me look at my card. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I didn't tell you on here. You could do, you could do as many as you want. All right, so then we're going to go to one and three quarters, and we're going to do it again. Huh. Leanne says, good morning, good evening from a warm Tennessee. Well, lucky you. Everybody else is freezing. All right, so I'm hoping you can see uh, the grid. If you're just now joining me, I apologize for the grid on my screen. We don't know why that's happening. You know, I leave town for a couple of weeks and the gremlins attacked my um, equipment while I was gone. That's all I can say. So I hope you can see, I'm going to turn it over. Can you see the, the score lines? And that just gives that some texture, you know, um, that way, you know, they can touch it and feel it and all of that. And they can see that. Okay. So here's our two pieces that we've done. I need a piece of garden green. Let's just move this over. And my garden green is two and three quarters. I hope that by me doing this helps y'all when you're making your cards. And it's so it's two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I need a piece that is one and three eighths. One, two, three. Oh, y'all like that technique. Thank you. One and three eighths by one and a quarter. Why oh, that looks small. I hope I measured that right. Hmm, we'll see. <laughs> that looks very tiny, but we'll see. We're just going to set that aside. Um, and then I need a piece of basic white. So I did use all of the same colors of papers to make my cards. So this makes it very easy. So now I need two and a half. See, masculine cards um, are a struggle. And, you know, I, why is it? Is it because we have so many flowery, flowery stamp sets, uh, so much ribbon, so much pretty DSP, that we have a mental block about masculine cards? Kind of what I think. All right, so I'm measuring this two and a half by three and a half. Okay, so we've got that. And then I need a piece that is one inch by one and a half. Boy, again, hmm. we're going to hope this works. <laughs> we're going to keep, oh yeah, see, we already know there's a problem. I messed up. I messed up. Hold on. Let's get our card. Let's see what I did wrong. Goodness gracious. See, <clears throat> that's what happens when I leave. All right, so the basic white is one and a half by one. The green was supposed to be one and a quarter by one and five eighths. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Okay. One and a quarter. I thought that looked awful small. 
by one and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm just gonna take this piece of paper and look how much nicer that fits. There we go. See, Cindy, I know, I think we just think that, I think we overthink masculine cards. I really do. All right, so now we have our layers and that looks, <laughs> that looks more better. If you're just now joining me, there is this funky grid on my screen. I have no idea why, other than that Gremlins got into my studio while I was on vacation. Mm -hmm. Naughty little things. All right, so we have that. I need a piece of garden green. That Where'd my garden green go? Uh-oh. Here it is. Okay, so we have our layers for card number one. I'm going to go ahead and cut for card number two. I need a piece of old olive. That is five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to move that cutting blade out of the way and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Oh, good, Vey. Vey has a very old camping set. Um, I, I want to see a deeper. There we go. She has a very old camping set that she can adapt to make my cards with. There you go. Um, I need a piece of early espresso. That is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So this should do the trick. Four and a quarter by two and three quarters. If you're just now joining me, I am teaching you how to make three masculine cards this evening. Um, I will have this download available for you after the live is over. Over on my blog below the video, you can click the link. Now I need a piece of very vanilla. That is two and a half by four. And to try to get the best use out of my paper. I'm going to cut my four inches this way. Move that over. And I need it to be four, uh, two and a half. So we're going to do two and a half. And then I need a piece that's four by five and a quarter. So by cutting all of my paper at one time, I will have everything I need to make my cards, and then it's just gonna be stamping and assembling. All right, for card number three, I need a piece of early espresso that is four and a quarter. Sue has an old fishing set. Um, I don't know any guys who fish anymore. Should I just assume they fish? Absolutely, absolutely. Just pretend they fish, pretend they go camping. I don't think, I think, okay, so there used to be a golf set. I think we think, okay, well, who do I know that goes golfing? Golfing with a man in the picture, uh, a fishing, a tent camp, it can all be for masculine. Don't think, oh, well, I don't know anybody who goes camping. Don't think that. All right, so this is four and a quarter by 11, and I need to score it at five and a half. Okay, so we got that one. Then I need a piece of evening evergreen. Uh-oh. Evening evergreen. Hmm, forgot that one. So I need a piece of evening evergreen that is three and three quarters. If you're just now joining me, I apologize for the grid on my screen. We have no idea how that got there. Um, I will be researching that, how to get rid of that. Um, so I do apologize. Um, I have um, this download for you on my blog after the live is over, but I am basically following the steps to uh, cut out for three cards. Um, how are you? Let's see. When did you join? Oh, <laughs> y'all are talking about my trip to Arizona. So my evening evergreen is four and three quarters. Got that. And then I need a piece of basic white. Let me get my regular basic white. Uh, let's see, how big is that? Yep, need to use this one. 
It is three and a half. See, Roxanne camps. So this could be for Roxanne. This doesn't have to be for guys. Just saying. <laughs> uh, by four and a half. Okay, so there's that piece. And then I'm going to need another piece of basic white for the inside. And so I need it to be, let's see, how big is this? Yeah, I need it to be, um, look at me, I can't even cut, four inches by five and a quarter. Okay, we are ready to stamp. All right, so I hope that helps y'all. Um, have You'll have everything just like this. You'll cut all your paper just like I did, okay? All right, so our first card. We're going to be talking about, um, so while I was gone, I shared masking paper with you guys, and we're going to be using the masking paper for this card. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add my um, early espresso to my card front, and you decide, do you want your... Um, do you want it embossed or de-embossed? You know, do you want it raised or, or not? I think I like the shininess of it not being embossed. Uh, let's see. I've been away too long, says Mary Yates. You know, missing two weeks was a lot, a long time, but I had a good time. Had a good time. Won't trade it for nothing. All right. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a good little sheen to it. It gives this card some little personality. All right, so now we need a piece of, thought I had that ready, but I guess not. Um, I should do a craft room tour sometimes. Okay, well, my craft room is pretty small, so it's going to be a short video. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I've got a lot packed in here. Okay, so I have my basic white. And what I did, okay, so while I was gone, I shared these cards with y'all. Showed you how to make these cards, and we were using the masking paper from Stampin' Up. Some of y'all are like, oh, I have that, haven't used it, I need to get it, I need to use it. So it was helpful for those of you who decided, let me just show you what it is. It's Stampin' Up Masking Paper. You can find it on my website, um, and that link is below the video. This has got a lot in it. Um, I did share the tip with y'all that... Um, you want to stamp on the part that is sticky, okay, um, because this peels apart like this, and we want to be uh, stamping on the part that we're going to be using. So this is similar to a very strong post-it note, okay? So what I did was I stamped my little tent, okay, can you all see my tent? And then I cut it out. We're going to be using it as a mask. All right. But we're also going to use this piece. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all are going to want this masking paper. I'm like, I'm addicted to it. It's like the funnest thing. Um, and I don't even know how much it is, but it's worth it. <laughs> Y'all need it. I'm just saying. All right. So I need, I have all my ink pads for all my cards. So I'm looking for soft suede. Um, Cindy says that was a great video. Okay. Um, I'm glad you liked it because I, I had fun with that one. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm using soft suede and I'm just going to stamp my little tent right here at the bottom. Okay. Oh, that is a new pad. Look how dark that soft. Did I get early espresso? Nope. It's my new soft suede pad. Woohoo. That is dark. Dark, dark, dark. Okay, it's going to work great for my tip then because what I'm going to do is um, Barbie says she used to ride on a dirt bike. Really? Wow. Well, I, I rode on, I mean, I lived in Arizona for six years and I never went on ATVs across the desert until this trip. Best thing ever. I'm so glad I went. Um, so I have, am grabbing the Stampin' Blends, and I'm just going to do some coloring 
and I guess maybe I talked too long. So what I'm going to do is I squeezed my ink pad. Boy, that is dark. Whew, that is a juicy. So this color right here is what soft suede is. This is a very juicy pad. So it's going to look a little different than my sample because I treated myself to new ink pads. And this is what I got. So hmm, there you go. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit over here like this. Okay, so we're just using a blending brush to give our um, tent some color. Kate, it was so much fun. It was freezing, but then as we changed elevation, it got it wasn't so bad. So um, I had a great time. Had a great time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to. Um, so I could have. What I was trying to do, eh, I wasn't going to work. I was going to, th I thought I was teaching y'all something else. You could take and mask this off if you needed to do some coloring on here. But where I'm going to be coloring now is the inside of the tent. Okay. I want to use um, some post it notes. Okay. I could use, well, I could. Here, let's do this. I could do it. Let's try it this way. You could use post it notes for the same technique. Let me open this up. Come on. I had this op I had this started because I knew when, with me talking, I wouldn't be able to get it started on the video. Okay. So what you can do, and I'm just going to tear this. What you can do is just use this like a post-it note. Okay. And I'm going to mask off my soft suede. I'm going to use the little, the tiny um, blending brushes and add some campfire light inside my tent. That's what I'm calling it. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to pull these off and you can reuse this stuff. It's, I mean, if you saw my video, you saw how I, um, I think I told you you could use like the flowers like twice, um, but it's really a stronger adhesive. There we go. Than uh, post-it notes. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. She is telling y'all where to find the masking paper. Whoops. I tore a little bit right there. Come on. Well, goodness. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tent and I'm going to mask off my tent like this. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my Garden Green ink. Y'all are talking about fish. I know what a walleye is. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stamp. And I'm going to stamp around. My tent. Whew, all these new ink pads that are so dark. Whew, juicy. I'm going to show you the difference. This looks like, did I grab soft suede? Nope. Garden green. A uh, soft suede. Um, I was thinking I grabbed uh, shaded spruce. Okay. So we are going to, boy, uh, yeah, that is really dark. Okay. You know what? I'm not liking that. <laughs> what a mess. I made a mess. Look at that. Okay. So. Perhaps if your ink pad is that juicy, you would want to stamp off to get more of a garden green look. That is a big difference. So 
All right. So it's a little, <clears throat> it's a little dark. It's a little scary because it turned out so dark. Um, it's what I get for not testing that new juicy pad. You know, sometimes the pads are juicy like that. And like I said, I treated myself to new ink pads and um, clearly they are very juicy. And, and it's been years since I've had new ink pads. So I am now realizing just how juicy they are. Where is this? Um, I hope it does lighten up, Becky, because that is really, really dark. <laughs> okay. It's a very dark forest. You're right. I mean, it's not that far off from the cardstock. So, yeah, I don't know. Kind of crazy. It just surprised me, I think. I didn't know what to say when it did that. <laughs> Only when you're going live does stuff like that happen and you're like, whoa, what is that? All right, so we're just going to pop up some, pop some dimensionals on here, give it a little bit of personality for the guys. And, whoops. <clears throat> so, yeah, I told you guys I was trying out these nails. I was like, I don't know. Should I keep, should I get some more? Should I do it again? I kind of think so because I love the fun colors that, um, that they have, that they have to offer. All right, now where did I put, uh-oh, y'all remember I cut the little green and the white. Where did I put it? we got to finish our card. What time is it? How am I doing on time? I'm doing great. I just lost my layers. Hold on. I'm looking. Nope, that's too small. Uh, that's too small. Where'd I put it? <laughs> Look at me. I'm being all organized until the time comes. And then now I can't find it. Well, we might have to cut some more. Because I clearly lost it. It's going to show up when the video is over. I'm sure of it. All right. So back to what size was that? Okay. So we got our, we have our green. Do we have our green? Nope. Put that over here. Check inside my white card. Check inside my white card. Good, good, good thing. Good place to check. Nope. Not in there. Nope. It'll show up. It'll show up only on a live. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I need a piece of green that is one and three eighths by one and a quarter. So one and a quarter. Amen, Judy. That's my, that's my idea of camping. One and three eighths. That is in my way. You know, guys, next week is a celebration is ending. So I hope you all have had a chance to get everything you want for free um, from the celebration. Basic white is one inch. Um, celebration, if you don't know, if you're just now joining me, uh, you're just now finding my uh, YouTube video by one and a half. Um, it is when you purchase anything from my website that is in $50 increments, you get to pick a free gift. How's that? Boy, that still looks small. All right. Happy birthday. We're going to do happy birthday in <laughs> soft suede. That's going to be very dark. And that's our little espresso. Okay. I always lose my stuff on my on my craft table. Why did I think it'd be any different for tonight? All right, so we have happy birthday. We're gonna, we're gonna close that juicy thing up. Oh good, you like the darker forest better. I'm so glad, thank you. Didn't plan on it being so dark, but there it is. All right, we're gonna add this to this layer. There we go. 
And then I'm just going to add it straight on with some adhesive. Renee had a good idea and I missed it. There we go. <laughs> New ink pad, old ink pad. <laughs> but pretty easy, huh? There we go. All right, let's make card number two. We do need to clean that happy birthday. I am making three happy birthday cards for the guys. So we're going to get out our cleaner. I say that this is the cheapest washer and dryer you will ever buy. I'm using the Stampin' Mist to clean and condition my stamps. Um, if y'all are just now joining me, we don't know why there's a grid on my screen. I don't, that's just mind boggling. I don't know what that is, but now that I know it's there, it's driving me nuts. Okay. So then here's our next card. Y'all watch that other, look at that. Look at that. There's the paper. Y'all didn't tell me to look inside of this card. <laughs> I told you it would show up. Oh, la. Okay. Okay. All right. We have a piece of four inches. Um, by five and a quarter. Yeah, Judy, we don't know what the grid is. It's not showing up on my camera that I can see on my screen, but it's definitely showing up on the screen. So we don't know. Maybe it's trying to keep me in line. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So those of you who don't know my tip, I want my, um, I don't want the sheen from the bone folders on my dark green, um, cardstock. So I put a piece of paper over it so that I can give that a good crease and it'll lay down and behave without having that sheen from the bone folder. Okay, let's get my card. Here is the card we're making now. Okay. And I decided that I wanted, I didn't want such a stark, very vanilla. So look, just so you can see the difference, see how that's more stark? I wanted a softer, um, not that I was trying to do like the glow of the, of the lights. Um, let's see, we had a foam pads. Oh, y'all are talking about camping. Y'all are talking about camping. Y'all are serious campers. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get soft suede again. Sandy says it could be from my camera. You need to widen your lens to take the grid off. But it's so weird that the camera that I'm using, it should show up on my camera. All right. So we're going to stamp our, whoops, lantern. And then we're going to get our happy birthday. Stamping it all on one layer. Dark trees make it look more like nighttime. You're right. It does. I'm going to get my stamp and blend. I get my stamp and blend blending pen again. And this is how I'm coloring. I'm just letting the ink from the image give me the ink to color my lantern. Okay. Just kind of filling it in just a little bit, just to give it some color. Okay. And then, yep, I did do it up here a little bit. And then we always want to clean that blending pen off, blender pen off, so that we can use it again. Um, I, you know what? I think I actually, I don't, I don't think I used, I don't know. We're going to try it. I don't think I used. Hey, I made these cards like three weeks ago before I went on vacation. So I'm not real sure how I did the yellow. I may have done a blender pen. But that works too. Perfect. There you go. I've slept since then. I don't know how I did it. Okay, so we have that. And then like I said, I didn't want the stark white or stark white, stark vanilla. So I grabbed my crumb cake. And my blending brush, I 
really am going to take some of that off because we already know that these new pads are very juicy. And I just kind of added some softness to it. Okay, I didn't want, I didn't want a whole lot, a little bit darker than the other one, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my early espresso layer. Okay. And we're going to add some dimensionals. So who's being inspired to make some masculine cards now? Now, when I'm done with this, I'm going to have six birthday cards for the guys. That's pretty cool. I'm going to leave those on for just a minute because I need to do some stamping. And we're going to clean up our stamps a little bit. <laughs> Sue said that my expression of I've slept since then made her laugh. I say I just walk, I walk through a doorway. I've never heard that one before. Oh, yeah, I've slept since then. I don't remember what I did. You know, I, I wrote a blog post. Maybe I should have read it. Maybe it would have re reminded me what I did to make these cards. <laughs> <clears throat> Debbie Parker says, me, I need one for tomorrow. Yay. I'm so glad. Um, okay. I'm just cleaning up all my stamps while I have my cleaning pad out because might as well. Uh, Sue says, I need a card for our son for his birthday. He's a very basic computer, a basic camper from what he learned in the army. Perfect. This will be great for him. Okay. Well, we're going to try our old olive. There's no telling what color this is going to be. These are all new. Um, Cindy says, I now have a stamp and scrub after watching you. And she loves it. I love it too. It is my go-to cleaner. I don't know. I feel like it does a better job and it dries. So it washes and it dries. Cheapest washing dryer you'll ever buy. All right, let's get our layer out. And we are going to ink up our stamp. Oh yeah, this is going to be dark. We'll just, we're just going to go with it. So we're just stamping randomly. on our card front, just kind of giving it a foresty look. And I even think, so I'm gonna pull this down. Y'all see that y'all see the tip of that right there? I overlapped and I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Like that, okay? Then, where'd our layer go? We can take, whoops. So my nails are stickers, just in case you're wondering. I did not paint my nails like that. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Debbie says that her lid broke on hers. All right, I think I'm just going to bring this over here some. There we go. And no two cards are ever the same. My two cards are ever the same. So this one is has more trees on it than this one, but that's okay. There we go. All right. We have, might as well clean this one up. I don't think we're going to use that stamp again, but it's dirty and we'll clean it up. Oh, good. Michelle is telling y'all where to get the Stampin' Scrubs because they're amazing. By the way, Stampin' Up! announced a clearance rack refresh and there are stamps on there. I, I honestly do not remember the last time. I don't even know if they ever did put stamps on the clearance rack. They don't do that. They haven't done that. Just saying. So if you need to go check that out because, hey, clearance rack means savings. Stamp set might be something that you've been looking for that's been retired. It might be over there. How about this easy peasy card? Mary's Card Craft says she also ordered the cleaning solution. Um, because yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's, it actually, um, conditions your stamp. There is glycerin in it, I believe. I think I remember that. 
Um, it has glycerin in it. Use Stampin' Mist to clean and condition your stamps. Maybe it's not on here, but I want to say it has glycerin in it. Anyway, it, it conditions your stamps. So all the more reason to use it. All right. So where's our happy birthday? And we're going to do the trees first. Change my mind. I'm going to use Evening Evergreen because I haven't used it in a while. Hello, Virginia from Southern California. Virginia, since you're just now joining us, I have grids on my screen. We do not know why. I will be researching that problem and fixing it for the future videos. <laughs> Someone did suggest that I check my um, screen width. So we're going to work on that. All right. So I'm just going to stamp and then I'm going to really press down because that last one um, did not stamp completely. There we go. We got that now. And then we're going to bring in our early espresso. Yep. Close up these pads. So we have just about finished three masculine cards. If you're just now joining me, um, you can go back and watch the video from the beginning, how I cut all of the cardstock on the screen live with you so that it would help you when you're sitting down to make these cards. Um, Cynthia says, thank you for doing masculine cards. I have my stash of feminine cards and wanted to start doing some masculine cards. I will be doing these tomorrow. You're very welcome. You are very welcome because I'm like you. I, I go think, oh, I've got some masculine cards. Nope. Don't have any. So then I'm in a pinch trying to get all my cards out to all my kids. You know, I have five kids, two boys, two sons. Um, but then I have three son-in-laws and then I have grandsons. So I'm always needing masculine cards. Um, you know, and then I have a husband. Mm -hmm. There he is. He needs a card too. So there's that. Okay. So we're just going to add this here. We're going to open this up because we can't write on this dark right here. Um, uh, Mommy Rue says she prefers the Stampin' Scrub over the Whammy. She means chamois. <laughs> I do too. I mean, the chamois I use on the Stamparatus, which is our stamp positioning tool. Um, I will use it on there because it does help clean those stamps before you touch them with your fingers. Um, but yeah, I prefer the Stampin' Scrub. All right. So we have all of our cards that we made. So see, now I have six masculine cards that we made. I cut the paper. We made less than an hour. Yes, I had the design already, but guess what? You will too in about 10 minutes. You can go over to my blog below the video. You can find the link and you can go over to the blog and download this uh, free tutorial. Um, if you Speaking of free tutorials, if you guys don't know, I give uh, free tutorials every week in, uh, to my newsletter friends. Who are, uh, So if you're not on my newsletter, I highly recommend you subscribe because I've also started doing something called Technique uh, Tip Tuesdays. So every Tuesday I'm sharing tips. Um, you know, I share tips on all my live videos and all my recordings and stuff. And sometimes you just, you need them written down. So I've started writing them down and putting them in my newsletter uh, that you would get on Tuesday. So great time to join my newsletter. Um, if you need anything, go check out that clearance rack over on my website. You can find the link below. Oh, speaking of, if you're new to my channel and this is your first time here, if I've inspired you with these cards, um, I would love for you to subscribe below. Ring that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time I go live or I upload a video. So there you go. The grid is gone. <gasps> okay, wait, hold on. We got to check some. It's on that camera for the love. Okay, well, now we've narrowed it down. It's this camera that is causing the grid. Okay, well, there you go. Now we know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm looking at this camera the whole time and I don't see, um, 
I wasn't seeing the grid. So now we know it's that camera. Uh, Jeannie says, um, Jeannie says, I was getting the newsletter and didn't realize to tap on the picture for the directions. Yes. Um, when you get the newsletter, um, I have um, the two free downloads. You click on the photo um, and it should uh, download, give you the free PDF for you to download and put in your stash to make a card one day. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Um, let's see. Sharon says she loves the simple masculine cards. That's wonderful. Uh, Gwen says my, my nails remind her of the fun full desert details card. It does. <gasps> You're right. You're right. It does. You guys are so welcome. I'm happy to be back with you guys. Oh yeah. Kate, right. Technology is so fun. So fun. Um, so there you go. Yep. Celebration ends next Tuesday. Yeah. I think Wednesday is the first, right? Ah, next week is my anniversary. 44 years with my hubby. There you go. Okay. Uh, Kathy says, thank you for the hints and the tips from making masculine cards. Love your videos. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Um, Mary's Card Crafts wants to know if everyone here is a demonstrator. No, no, not everyone. I am. <laughs> Uh, Gail says she enjoyed the video. Can't wait for mystery stamping on Monday. She missed me. Um, okay. You're so welcome. I will be back on Monday for mystery stamping. Renee, um, Paris and I will be, uh, uh, bringing you a new mystery, uh, Monday. Um, I'm happy to be back with that because y'all love it. There you go. All right. I am going to sign off and I will see you guys on Monday for Mystery Stampin'.